Hey, I'm Lauren from tastypc.tv. Today I'm going to be upgrading my laptop with some help from Corsair. So this is Nocturnal, my Alienware M15X laptop, um, and she's about two years old now. And she is really starting to show it in how long it takes her to boot, how long it takes her to load things. She's just generally a lot more sluggish than she was two years ago. Now, obviously laptops get slower over time, um, but there are some easy upgrades you can do to make them faster. So, what I plan on doing is replacing the 4GB of stock memory that's currently in there with 8GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 memory. Um, and then more importantly, I'm going to be using Corsair's new Notebook Solid State Drive Upgrade Kit, um, replacing the 500GB hard drive currently in there with Corsair's 240GB Force Free Solid State Drive. Um, now this is a little bit of a weird video, it's like half guide, half double review, um, and I know it won't appeal to a lot of my current subscribers, but hopefully you'll still find it interesting. So let's take a closer look at the kit. So this is Corsair's Notebook Solid State Drive Upgrade Kit. And in it you get a 3.5 inch drive adapter, and that's just for in case you decide to use the kit on a desktop PC rather than a laptop. You also get a USB to SATA cable, which is just for cloning your existing hard drive. You get the cloning software. You also get a quick start guide. You get some fitting screws. And then lastly, you get the force free solid state drive. So I have the 240 gigabyte version, but you can also get the kit in 120 gigabytes as well. So for this solid state drive, it actually differs slightly from the standard force free solid state drive in that it's only 7mm thick. Um, you can see the difference if I compare it to a standard solid state drive. Um, and this is so that you can fit it into notebooks that don't allow for the full height 2.5 inch drives. So let's take a look at the memory. So this is the 8GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 memory. As you can see, I've chosen 1866MHz memory that's been designed for Sandy Bridge laptops and above. Now, unfortunately, my laptop is only capable of using 1333MHz, but the reason why I've chosen this fast memory is that it actually sets itself as the fastest speed that your laptop can do. Um, so for me, it will run just as fast as a 1333MHz kit. Um, another reason why I've chosen this fast memory is so that I can kind of future-proof myself. And by that I mean so that I can use this memory in future laptops. So with the black PCB boards and the Vengeance stickers, I really love how this memory looks. And I do actually think that it looks better than most of the kits on the market. So now I'm going to install the upgrade. So replacing your existing hard drive with a solid state drive is actually really easy. All you have to do is plug the solid state drive in using the cable provided, and then just run the included software. So if I just zoom in a little bit so you can see the screen better. And then if I run the software, and click run again, and then click yes, obviously, then click run again, then click let's get started. So now the software scans your laptop to check for the hard drives available, um, it doesn't take too long. So once this has completed, it will ask you to choose um, a source. Um, which in this case is the internal 500 gigabyte Western digital hard drive. And then it will ask you to choose the destination, which is the 240 gigabyte force free solid state drive. So when you've reached this point, just click start to begin cloning the hard drive. Um, now I've already done this just to make filming this video easier. It took about 15 minutes and then just said it was finished. So now I'm going to install the solid state drive and memory. So this is the part of the video where it would differ slightly depending on your laptop, um, but they are all normally pretty similar, although if you're not sure you can check the user manual. So I'm going to start by removing the battery and then the back cover. Um, so originally when filming this I did plan on speeding these parts up and having them on times too, but some of my subscribers said they prefer to watch it in real time. Um, so I'm going to leave it here and hopefully I don't bore anyone. So now I'm going to remove the hard drive, just going to undo the screws. Um, so if you are trying to do this upgrade on a budget, um, I'd probably recommend using the 120GB kit and then fitting your old hard drive into an external enclosure um, and using it as a storage device. Um, 
Um, so now I've just got to undo the screws and remove the hard drive from the caddy. Um, this probably would be a good time to mention that the Corsair Vengeance memory, um, 8 gigabytes of it running at 1,866 MHz, cost £70, and 8 gigabytes of it at 1,600 MHz, cost £40. Alright, so now I'm going to take off the little adapter and put it on the force free solid state drive. So I've now installed the force free solid state drive and I'm now going to put it back into the laptop. So if I just do up the screws. So, um, so um, now I'm going to undo the screws and remove the memory cover. So now I'm going to remove the old memory. And I'm now going to fit the new Corsair Vengeance memory. It just easily slides in and then you push it down. So um, now I'm going to refit the memory cover. Just got to do the screws back up. So now I'm going to refit the back cover and then put the battery back on. Just got to put the screws back in. And that's it. And now my laptop is exactly the same as it was when I started, but it's now a hell of a lot faster. So now I'm going to do some tests and see just how much faster it is. So this just wouldn't be a solid state drive upgrade video without boot race. Now, unfortunately, the solid state drive is being held back by the SATA 2 interface in my laptop. So that's the solid state drive done, and now we wait. Um, this probably would be a good time to mention that a 240GB solid state drive kit is around £175, and a 120GB kit is around £90. And that's the hard drive done. So now I'm going to take a look at the Windows Experience Index Rating. Now, whilst I know it's not the most accurate way to judge performance, you can see that the disk data transfer rate now scores a 7.8, whereas the old hard drive capped out at 
Now I am confident that the Solar State Drive would score a 7.9 if it was being used with a SATA free laptop. Now the memory hasn't moved, um, and that's most likely would have scored a 7.9 if it was running at the full 1866 MHz it's capable of, um, rather than just at 1333 MHz. So to judge the Fendrix memory, I've run this basic benchmarking tool. Um, and as you can see, the memory has automatically configured itself at the correct megahertz and chosen the best timings possible. Um, in this case, it's 9, 7, 7, 21. Um, and the memory is faster in every test that I did. So now I'm going to move on to the conclusion. So Corsair's Force Free Solid State Drive has been heavily reviewed since its release, so I don't need to go into detail about how great it is. Although the fact that it's now available in a notebook upgrade kit the easiest way to clone drive I've ever seen makes it easily worthy of the 5 star gold award. Now with the Corsair Vengeance memory it's the nicest memory I've ever used in a laptop and even though I can't utilise its full power it is definitely worth a 5 star gold award as well. So I hope you found this guide slash review helpful. If you liked the video hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.